Hi friends, I am Dr. Narendra Gupta, consultant gynecologist and IVF expert at Vivekanand Hospital Fertility Center, Jaipur, India. Today we will be talking on endometrial scratching. Many a times, patients they ask us about endometrial scratching because their endometrium was not proper in the previous cycles. So many patients they come to us that the doctor has advised them endometrial scratching. So what is the need for the endometrial scratching? So before discussing endometrial scratching, I would like to draw your attention to what is endometrial thickness. Whenever we do endomet whenever we do embryo transfer, we need good endometrium. And what we mean by good endometrium? that is the endometrial thickness should be more than 7 to 8 millimeter. Endometrial thickness, endometrium is the inner lining of the uterine cavity where the embryos are implanted. So we need good thickness of the endometrium as well as we need good blood supply to the endometrium. So these two things are very very important. One is thickness of the endometrium and second is blood supply to the endometrium. If these two things are good then the chances of implantation are more. If the endometrial thickness is less than 7, then the chances of endometrial uh, embryo implantation are less. But when it is less than 5 mm, then the chances of implantation are almost negligible. So the endometrial thickness is very very important. So when your doctor or when we see that the endometrial thickness is much less than what is desired, that is it is around 4 mm, 5 mm, 6 mm then we cancel the cycle, we freeze the embryos and in the next cycle we plan the embryo transfer. But before undertaking the, uh, the embryo transfer, we need to devise certain methods to improve the endometrial thickness. And there are various ways to improve the endometrial thickness and one of them is endometrial scratching. It is done on the 21st day of the cycle. And what we do in this procedure that we take a small curate and we scrap the endometrium. We scrap the endometrium. That is, we inflict minor injury to the endometrial cavity, thereby inducing a small inflammatory response and removing if there has been small fibrotic bands. So we do endometrial scratching that is done on the 21st day of the cycle. Then the patient get menstrual periods and after the menstrual periods again we prepare the endometrium naturally or by giving certain medicines. On 13th, 14th day of the cycle we assess the endometrium and if the endometrial scratching has been successful the endometrial thickness will improve and it will be more than 7 mm that is it is ready for implantation. Then we do frozen thaw embryo implantation in these patients and there are good chances that these embryos will be implanted and patient will become pregnant. So endometrial scratching is a good method, however it has its own limitations that is if the fibrosis is much more or in many of these cases there are some other problems which does not allow the endometrium to grow. In these cases, the endometrial scratching fails. But in more than 50% of the cases, the endometrial scratching brings about good endometrial thickness and these patients, they conceive by this method. So that's about endometrial scratching. If you like my video, kindly share it with your friends, with your relatives who need this treatment. Thank you very much for listening. My email address is drnarendra12 at gmail.com. If you want to ask any question, you can send me an email. Thank you. Thank you very much.